Happy Monday, everybody. And we're back. We got another questionable breaker out there that I'll share my opinion on afterwards. This was an Instagram break from what I've read. I will put a link that if you belong to Facebook and have a Facebook account to where you can go in there and read probably the thousand comments that are now on to it. Uh, it goes in depth. It shows that the individual with the break group is no longer on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, Facebook, and all that. Now, the name of the break, because you'll see it on, or the breaker was called Vegas Breaks. Disclaimer, there are multiple Vegas Breaks out there. The one who is in question deleted everything. So if you go on Facebook and search for Vegas Breaks... The one that pops up is not them. Just going to throw that out there just so nobody goes out there and hits them. Because I guess they've already got hit up being called like liars, thieves, cheats, scammers, and all that. Hopefully they'll go out there and rename the group if there's not a trademark name already out there onto it. Uh, unfortunate incident because we've had this happen before where... You know, guys are taking names that are already being used and doing scams out there. And then, the you know, the people that are legitimately doing this stuff and probably own the name or rights to it just get hit up and blown up. And it affects, you know, their business on. So I just want to make sure ahead of time to let everybody know whoever the owner is of the questionable break of Vegas Breaks. It has no footprint anymore. Unless you could find his real name and figure that out, which I'm sure it's posted in the comments somewhere on there, which again will be a link in the description if you might have to join the uh, group to see it, but you, you'll see who it is and stuff like that there. All right, so the break was National Treasures basketball first off the line. I believe it was one box or two box, I, I don't remember, but... The video was taken down, and the video you're about to see was somebody who just taped the very, very beginning of the video. And I'm going to cut to that. I just want you guys to see it. See what you can see offhand and what you notice. And I'll be right back with a ton of pictures and some more of what I think my opinion onto it. And we'll get into it a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, it is 9.30. Going to give it another minute here. <clears throat> Everybody gets something. Um, more boxes on the way, too. Got another break on Monday and Tuesday, so check that out. All right, well, let's do it, guys. Let me just move my music to the side here. I was trying to, I was trying to uh, play some music, a little pumpkin festive, festive music here. So let's... Uh, Let's do this thing. Let's get this bad boy out of here and let's take this out. All right. So let's see here. We got a nice box of National Treasures. Would be nice if they put this in a nicer box, as I always say. All right. So uh, we're going to get started here in just a second, guys. All right. <laughs> Who's ready for some national treasures? I am. Cut that open. Okay, that's the box. All right. So good luck to everyone today. Hopefully we'll pull some heat. Look forward to seeing that acetate in the back. All right. Get this over here. All right, let's open this bad boy here. Okay. All right. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. All right, this break uh, probably happened within the last couple days. I don't remember the date of it offhand. But the, like I said, breaker name, Vegas Breaks. Again, there's multiple out there. The scammer has deleted his whole footprint. So if you go out there and find a Vegas Breaks, it's probably the real legitimate one. It's on Facebook. So please don't go beating them up if you see them on IG, Twitter, Snapchatter, what's not, and whatever else is out there. 
because uh, like I said, everybody's already tried to find this dude, and he's gone. He does have an eBay handle. It's the number one, Dog Lily, and it's all smaller cased. Uh, from my understanding, from reading through the comments and not looking through the whole thing, that's already been pretty much everything that was on there taken off and stuff like that. So, guy has gone ghost, which does not look good when you ghost everything onto it. Now, I know the video was very small. Nobody has the full clip because as soon as somebody posted about it without getting the whole video, yep, he took them on down, took them on down. So, let's just go ahead and start pulling pictures up here. Here you go, first picture. That's the first off the line box. If you look, and I know it's a bad picture, but if you go back to the video, you can notice that the top right and left just does not look like the real sealed on National Treasures. I've opened plenty of National Treasures through my breaking days, and even iMac, the high-end stuff, and that just did not look right and sit right with me. It, if you look, maybe he opened it and has it somehow taped with scotch tape in the back. I don't know. But let, let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on here. i got to scroll up here on my little feed bar. Next picture up. There's the National Treasures box. I don't know if anybody noticed anything on it, but you know Panini puts their seal across it. If you go back in the video and look, you can see it kind of looks kind of shiny there. Those things are never shiny. Never. Never have been. And there's a little bit more of a blow-up picture onto it there. So if you look where the seam goes across, that to me looks like scotch tape. It really does. And again, this guy doesn't even try to defend himself or anything. So, and he deletes everything. What's that mean for you? There's that Vegas Breaks thing. I believe that's the Instagram handle right there. All right, I'm going to pull those down. There's where I was talking about at the sticker. It's right there. So this was pulled out of it. A uh, Martin RPA knows the patch, knows it's numbered 11 out of 24. That's the card that they pulled out of it. Here's the funny part. That card right there, that's a picture of it being sold on eBay. Notice it's number out 11 out of 24. 11 out of 24. And that... Um, Let me see. I thought he had the date on here. It sold on October 2nd. The serial number was numbered 11 out of 24. And remember how I showed everybody how to go in and check for shill bidding? Well, guess what? The person who won that had the same amount of feedback, 1909, as Vegas Breaks did with their eBay account one dog lily thing. Well, thing's not in, but you guys get it. So, that's very, very crazy. Now, we all know that back, oh, it was a few years ago. I can't remember if it was Prism, Select, or Optic. One of them messed up, and there are dual serial number cards of a certain card out there. But this here, to have the same patch and everything onto it, just wrong. So this, like I said, with this, you can go in there and really dig into it. The 1909 feedback onto it and everything. Just, just bad, bad. It's the same as the One Dog Lily. So, it, it this is all in this big, huge topic out there, or, or the post that was made. It's just so many pictures to put onto the screen that you'd be like, it, it gets overwhelming. It really does when you start trying to go on to it. But they repack this, is what my opinion is, into this NT first off the line box and took something out of it. The funny part of this whole thing is, um, where's the picture at here? This dude actually has on his Instagram a lamello ball that was graded. And I believe the number was out of 24. And in Anthony Edwards, too. I mean, he could have repacked it, pulled those, wanted to make some big chunk of money back, bought the Martin, and moved on. Both of them were great at mid-nines, too. I can see just by the picture when I blow it up 
And you guys will be able to see this stuff if you go on to the post. Like I said, it's so many pictures to show. It, it's very, very overwhelming onto it. But one of those cards could have been pulled out of these boxes or box. And he went out there, bought this, and replaced it in. And this is what's really bad, you know, when you start looking at the hobby in general. We've been pretty clean for a while where I haven't seen a whole lot of questionable breaks out there going on. I mean, other than the normal stuff that I tell everybody about that I see going on Instagram. <laughs> Lo and behold, here's an Instagram break. But, it, man, I, it, it's just crazy the things that people are doing nowadays to get over. I mean, if you would have bought that box, okay, and you pulled a Lamello out of 24 out of it or the Edwards... Why even do something like this? You already made a ton of money off it, even after you grade it. It's just bad. It's just that we are now in such a greed mode to where, you know, prices or boxes are high. People want every single last dollar they can get out of it, and they're willing to do anything just to get it and make it look, you know, completely where it is. And I'm going to show you guys this again. So... As you can see what's circled there to what's on the right hand side of the screen, you guys see that shiny piece? That is like scotch tape. It, it has to be offhand. There's just no way around it. Um, I, <laughs> I, I just can't believe Panini would have messed up and put two of the same exact patches and card serial number the same out there. And the person that won the card has the same feedback on Facebook as the breaker. But just crazy stuff. Um, the last one I saved this had 461 comments. There's a ton more on there. It'll give you a lot more information if you're looking for information on the uh, per individual behind it. Try to see. There was something else I wanted to show. Let me see if I can blow this up and pull it up. There we go. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Lamello was out of 10. It was out of 10. I'm just looking at the... There's that actual picture in the uh, feed of it. And like I said, I was copying tons and tons of pictures out of here with it. And there's just so many. So many when you start going through this whole thing. But... I wanted to touch base onto this because we really haven't talked too much with um, any types of break scams that have been going on out there. And lo and behold, give it a little bit and it's back. And like I said, these things will start running in like, you'll start seeing like two or three more popping up because more people are doing their due diligence and noticing this stuff. Calling it out in forums or whatever it may be. And, you know, people then are like, oh, I'm just going to delete everything out there. Well, the funny part is, the people that bought into that break are going to be able to find out your real name and stuff because you've been breaking before and they bought from it. They have all your information to include a return address. Not the smartest thing in the world to, to do on to it. Um, I'm not too sure what they're, the people in it, I'm sure they're probably all going to try to get their money back off of it. Through uh, eBay, since the spots were sold on eBay. No, but, man. I, NT first off the line box. Just, just, wow. You know, a while back, and I can never find the video of it, there was a flawless breeze case from basketball where it was, didn't, wasn't tight with the cellophane around the initial briefcase in the box. And it exploded about it. And I cannot find that video because I wish I could. I would show it to you all because it's just crazy how loose the uh, plastic was on it. But alright everybody, enough with me blabbing on on to this. Link will be in the post if you belong to Facebook or have his Facebook account. It's called Sports, Ca Sports Card Scammers Exposed in parentheses. What's in the box? Um... They have a lot of stuff, good information of people that are doing wrongdoings. If you ever want to get like a huge eBay block list, that's the place to go. <laughs> because you could block thousands of accounts. I do it usually once every week or two. I just go through and scroll through and just start adding people to it. I just don't want to have the time or effort if I was to sell again on eBay or even try to buy from somebody on eBay. Just block them out so I don't have to worry about it, you know. Alright everybody, have a good rest of the week. 
Let me know, as always, what you think um, with everything that's shown. What do you, you go? Do you guys think it was repacked, resealed? I mean, I do. That that's my opinion right across the board on to it. Other than that, catch you guys live on overtime Friday. Sorry about last night. The game got delayed and it was just getting way too late. And I didn't want to. I know some people had to work for the next day, and it would probably just been you know fifteen to twenty five people in a chat. I'd rather get more people in there to where you have a more solid conversation flow going through. So back Friday night. Back Friday night. All right, you guys take care. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you later.